Happy Easter. Found a couple of vans for sale with light bars. It's appropriate to play one of my favorite songs today. I associate that song with Evander, the real deal Holyfield. That was his ring walk song when he beat up James Buster Douglas for the heavyweight championship of the world. Buy one, get one free. Easter candies. Making this video in the Skate World parking lot. Meeting up with some friends. I'm not roller skating. I don't know how to roller skate. I'm just gonna eat pizza and watch people fall down. Hopefully they don't fall down though. I have a feeling someone's gonna fall down though. Oh yeah, like I said, found a couple of vans for sale with light bars. My part-time office. Someday this will be my full-time office. First van for sale, not lifted, but I wanted to share it for this. It has a bull bar. I have never seen an Econoline with a bull bar until now. I know a lot of you guys like my front end enhancement, ORW light bar. Unfortunately, discontinued. I bought it 10 years ago for like $180. I bought it because you know how much front end enhancements are for 40 Econolines, $2,000 for an Illuminus. So, I just wanted my front end to look a little cooler and found the ORW. Unfortunately, they are no longer made. So if you just want to enhance your front end just a little bit, just something a little cooler, look into this. Here's the price. 08 to 2014, $152. That guy made it work. All Econolines have the same frame, I want to say. So pretty sure you guys could figure that out. This one is only seven grand, listed a day ago. He just says it has stains on the carpet. It's pretty basic, looks good. So, you might wanna look into this one. This one has potential for seven grand. How many miles, 200,000 miles? Next up, there it is, ORW light bar. Someone's selling it. Well, the, the van's included, 18 grand, listed two days ago. Has a lot of sick add-ons. That's the ultimate action van suspension. I could tell because he has the tubed and himed. Is it hemmed or himed? Radius arms. So enhanced radius arms. So he has the expensive action van suspension lift on this. Along with the Fox Shocks 2.0s. Action vans. Action van suspension. They do um, Bilstein's standard. 100 40,000 miles. Wait for this one to go down a little bit. If it goes down a little bit, this is a good one. Sick add-ons. He has the traction boards and the all-important front end enhancement. Here's another one. Oh, I think I shared this one already. But this guy initially wanted 16 grand. He's down to 13. The only thing is the mileage is kind of high. This one has the more expensive front end enhancement day he has sick add-ons to action van lift action van doesn't have a YouTube presence but they sure sell a lot of lift kits and I wanted to share this one check this one out 50 grand for a Chevy Express no way that's too expensive well it's 50 grand because look at this thing it's a bus I wouldn't drive it personally. Doesn't look like it would be very good off-roading. But man, it's nice. Look, it's a house. It's a real actual house. See, mine's a wannabe house. That's an actual house on wheels. Very good job. I like how creative people get. They just come up with everything now, don't they? Anything van related, people turn into some sort of uh, house on wheels. I like the creativity. And then I wanted to share a few more things. 17 grand. Only 97,000 miles though. Lifted, all-wheel drive Astro. Bigger than a minivan. 
not as big as a full-size van so somewhere in the middle clean and then we got Chevy Express lifted 18 grand but only 89,000 miles two-wheel drive lift I don't know who um lift safaris or expresses expresses and savannas I don't know who lifts these full sizes but this one looks good not enough pictures though I knew I saw another one with the ORW light bar same light bar as mine he added three lights to his I just have two on mine but yeah when I was uh, doing my first van build 10 years ago I didn't want to spend two thousand dollars on a front end enhancement bumper so I looked for the cheapest one I could find and found the ORW light bar for like hundred eighty dollars if I remember correctly I just wanted something simple I just wanted my van to look a little cooler up front and I think this does the job this looks really cool so definitely look into these bull bars if you don't want to spend two grand on a new bumper this adds some cool factor to it my ORW light bar from my last van build 10 years ago too bad they stopped making them maybe you guys could contact off-road warehouse maybe if enough of you contact them they'll make them again I just remember spending less than $200 on this thing and like I said it does the job makes the front look cooler